over yeah, again. Sorry. And uh, the first thing I'd like to do, introduce yourself, please. Uh, Dale Shirley with St. Louis Scott Gallagher Metro. Metro. And right. We just, uh, it's Derby night. Right. Big night. Uh, you know, the, the Gallagher Metro team versus the Gallagher Missouri team. So we we're fortunate today to get four points out of the evening. We're very happy with that. Yeah. The uh, Your team, you were coaching the 16s. Mm-hmm. And you got the three points. Right. So Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, and the guys go up one nothing and give up a, a goal to go one one, and uh, we were fortunate enough to score in the second half late and uh, and hold on to it. Describe win. the goal. I was on the wrong yeah, end. Yeah, where it's just a break. Uh, they had a lot of the ball, but we were able to get out on the break, and Anthony got in around the corner and and uh, beat a player and slipped Tyler Swanner in, and he finished from about 15 yards out. They uh, they modified their lineup in the second half, didn't they? It yeah. looked like they went from a 4-2-3-1 to a 4-4-2. Yeah. Trying and, to get more offensive yeah, on you. Yeah, a little you? more offensive, and a couple different players came in. I think some of the regulars came into the game. Um, so yeah, they had a little bit of the ball first 15 minutes or so of the second half. I felt like that we weathered the storm. You weathered, yeah, yeah. that's exactly what I saw. Yeah, and then we, uh, uh, you know, just got a hold of the ball a little bit more and created a few good chances on the break, and, and that's the way the game was. We defended a lot, but we were good on the counter. Our uh, our friends from Channel 5 are here tonight. We can see them over there talking to Austin Pancho. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing a story on club versus uh, high school. Correct. One of the things that stood out for me is obviously you guys had a week to prepare for this. You knew what you were coming right. into. You had a t- tactical plan. What was that tactical plan? Yeah, for the 16s, it was, we spent a lot of time on our defending in midfield and really trying to get pressure against the ball. Oh, with and, Keegan McHugh and yeah, uh, a couple the of the boys they, they have got. midfield. If you give them too much space, they, they can pick you apart. Right. Um, so for the most part, we did well. We had you know 10 or 15 minutes in each half where we had to chase the ball a little bit. We couldn't really close the ball down. But for the most part, we were pretty good. And, uh, and then the other part was us trying to get a little more direct. We've been with the 16s, we have good technical players, uh, but we've uh, tried to connect too many passes, really haven't gotten anywhere with the ball. Uh, so we moved a couple players around, changed some of the mentality, uh, added a couple new patterns to how we were going to get out of the back and into the front half of the field, and it worked tonight. So we were able to get in on, on a couple of counters through some of the work that we did over the weekend. And so the week. it, it's fair to say that was the result of having a week to prepare as opposed to a high school environment. Yeah, absolutely. So being able to, to watch video from our last set of games, look at some of our problems, study it, study film, discuss it amongst the staff, get out and train it, um, you know, over an extended period of time to prepare the players for the next game is vital to their development and their understanding of how to play. And, and we saw the 16s came in with a pretty good reputation. They were getting some uh, buzz from ESPN, some others. You came out and you uh, got the three points. Right, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it happens that uh, that we're the underdog and we don't mind that. And, uh, and we just uh, try to continue getting better and see, see if we can – you know, get a playoff spot this year with the team. You got a college showcase going on as well this weekend. Yeah. What's, how's that going? Yeah, good. We have 166 teams here, about 100 college coaches. A number of them were here at the game tonight. Um, so it's really the best of both worlds for both of the academy programs, being able to, to play in a beautiful facility like this at Cordy Stadium and, uh, and have college coaches here as well. It's very nice. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Thank you.